Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. Now, I thought I'd take the liberty after making my previous video on an MP3 dancer for a desktop, I thought I'd find some other completely pointless but fun applications for your desktop. So we're going to go through these in order, I'll leave all the download links in the description and let's get started. So first one is Mousetron and if you've ever wondered how many miles and yards and inches you do with your mouse this will count it for you and it will count out by how many seconds how many times you click the left button and the right button and the middle button double clicks and your mouse wheel and your speed in ml per hour which um, must be I'm not sure that is but ml per hour so you can try it as fast as you can to try and make that as high as possible so here we have several things that you can do that it will measure up with your mouse so you can also set this up uh, so you can change one mine is 20.1 so which, oh, I don't know if I can change it, there you go, 20.1, apply so now it's changing and now I'm doing lots and lots of inches so um, you can do several things with this here's all the things you can do, yay um, you can also transfer your information on your uh, upload and things like that to the internet so you can send now um, or automatically do it. So completely pointless but a good application to have. Next is FDD which is the desktop destruction tool. So I'm going to double click this. Don't know if you'll see this so we're going to you can start desktop games by pressing a key. So I'm going to press a key and you, can, you may not be able to see but I have a variety of applications uh, things to use and I haven't I'm going to load up something like a full screen uh, Google or something like that, or have it there or something. So um, I'm really annoyed, I've got some work and I've just lost it. Uh, I'm going to chainsaw my desktop. You can change it with the F1 to F9 please. Shoot the desktop if you want. Flame throw it. Put uh, paint on it. Beam it or something. <laughs> Stamp it with stupid characters and put ants on it and <laughs> watch it go crazy and uh, squirt it with water. Which seems to this must be the scrubber tool because you can take things off with it or just squirt water on your desktop. So that is that. So hopefully, you saw that. You might not have done, but um, either way, have a go at this FDD um, desktop destruction. Next up is SciPet. Now, this is a virtual pet for your desktop. You may not be able to hear, hear that, but I'll just call it Duncan. Uh, beginner, health to behaviour strength, okay fine. And this is my pet apparently. Yeah. So I'm going to feed it. <laughs> Clean out, Duncan has been cleaned. Use stats, hunger, happiness, health and behaviour. So as you can see he's not very happy it looks like. Vaccinate him. Try and vaccinate him again. And again. Is he going to die? Duncan committed suicide from the total sadness of his life. Your best age was 0.001. Yes. And a new best age. Oh, just what a shame. I killed my pet. Oh, well. If you have 3D pinball on your computer, this is the high score editor, so you can fake your score in, pin in pinball. So I've now got an amazing score. Look at that. Save it. And then pinball will actually come up. Next is invert mouse. Now I'm not going to, well, we'll double click it, but you may not see, but my mouse is now inverted and I'm moving my mouse right and it's moving left. So I'm going to struggle to try and stop this because um, <laughs> I have to invert mouse in the process. I'm clicking with my right hand key instead of left hand. There we go, mouse ended. And unfortunately it hasn't changed the, hasn't changed the freaking buttons. So I now have to quickly go into mouse, switch buttons. So now, now I'm using the left hand, which is the normal one. Uh, computer correction tool, very, very good. Um, basically, you've got a giant mallet. You can whack your desktop. And it looks really good in terms of... It looks like you're actually hitting it, because the whole lot moves where you hit it. So, very good application here. Uh, next up is Bill Gates' eyes. Just a random thing here, which you've got Bill Gates' eyes that follows your mouse. So, next is Mad Live Clock. Now this is um, more scary than it is, um, well, more scary than it is fun, but I'll put my name in, I'll put my date of birth, so it's 18th to the 8th, 88, and you can have it tell you 
my life in months, days, hours, seconds, minutes, um, body, my hair length, my nail length, my heartbeats, my continuous blinks, blood path, uh, massive blood thrown by heart in kilograms, my saliva volume, time spent eating, 10 years, <laughs> eating eggs, eating chocolate and time spent on the phone. So, and it says stuff about earth, space, periodical, wings, fluctuation of midge, I don't know what that means, but dog's life, a cat's life, a hamster's life, an elephant's life, a rabbit's life. So loads of different things um, that you can do with a clock. Um, I thought this one was funny. This is supposed to be an error generator which makes like, comedy errors come up, but when you go to run it, it's a proper error for the program, so I'm missing a component to run this program, so I thought that was quite ironic that an error generator came up with an error. So next one is my favourite, it's Fumble. Uh, basically, it's a ball on your desktop. Now it skips a little bit at the beginning and then it works fine. And all you do is if I can grab it, let me grab you, there you go. All you can do is just um, let go of it and you can bounce your bounce this ball around your desktop. So I like this, it's brilliant. I just keep bouncing this ball around the desktop. So that is that one. I'll leave the ball there. So next up is Yippee. You can put in your date of birth. So if I put in my date of birth now, 18th of the 8th, 88. Retirement age of 65. Show me in days. Invalid date. Um, oh, I think I need to do the American way, which is 08, 18, 88. Go. No? Uh, 18th of the 8th, 1988. Here we go. And it minimises to the taskbar, and it's like 16,613 days to go. Yippee! So, nice little reminder here of how many days you've got left to go, or seconds, as it counts down to your retirement. So, that's a handy thing to have. Next one is completely pointless, canned laughter. If anyone cracks a joke in an office or anywhere and it's completely unfunny, you just click this, so I'll turn the volume up. So, it's just if someone cracks a stupid joke, you just... <laughs> so, that's can laughter. And this last one is a prank Vista upgrade. So you double click this, and it pretends to be automatic updates, you say express. And it starts scanning your system. You can't cancel it, and you can't close it. Um, what well, I won't go all the way through it, because it, it then turns, it goes onto your monitor and shows you a pretend Vista um, log on and then the best bit of all is that it, it changes from the um, Vista little shiny orb thing that you see when you start your computer up and that shows you a Mac desktop which I thought was absolutely brilliant so these are funny fun things that you can do that are completely pointless on your desktop and all the links will be provided in the description um, I'm gonna continue bouncing this ball around and um, if you like my videos please leave a comment subscribe do whatever if you find any decent applications then please let me know um, my next video is going to be on pranks, so watch out for that one, it will be on YouTube very soon. So thanks for watching my video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks again.